Hello, this is Hellbent, and welcome to the third video in our variable topic. In this one, we're going to start off with uh, using our just simple mathematical operators with variables. And like before, we're just going to start off with uh, just some simple letters as our variable names. Um, because we're going to be doing math with all of these ones here, we're going to need to declare our variable as an expression using the colon equals operator and then we'll just have you know some simple examples so let's say we want to have 21 with the asterisk which means multiply or times and then we can have three we can set b we'll do b equals um let's see let's do divide so let's say 21 divided by three And then we'll have c colon d colon equals, uh, let's do 3 plus 8. Let's make it look nice. And we'll do d. Uh, we'll need some subtract. So let's do 4 minus 2. But I'll put some space in there to make it look nice. And I'll do one more where we will use variables. Okay, so E colon equals, and we'll say it's going to be the value of A. Um, let's get some bed mass in here. Okay, if you remember from grade school math class, like grade 3, grade 4, something like that, you went into bed mass where you went through and it says, you know, what the order of the operations that you're going to be doing so you have your brackets and then your exponents and etc etc so computers work the exact same way so whenever you want to have an operation that's got multiple parts to it you need to separate it properly so we'll do let's do 2 plus 3 times 3 and then let's do it actually let's add another part to it minus one and then we'll have divide it by and if you're not sure if some what the order is between like this uh, the multiply and the divide what you can do is just add another layer of brackets And we'll divide it by 2. Okay, so I hope that uh, you're clear on what's going on with this. And then we'll just do our normal message box where we wrap our, uh, our variables with the percentage sign. So we'll do A equals percent a percent and then we'll do our new line characters and continue on And oh yeah, I didn't actually want to do it like this. I wanted to do it. So let's replace some of these with the variables that we have up there. So let's put change that to the A, the variable A. Let's put B in there. We'll do C in there. D in there. And then we'll add another A. Okay. And we'll save our changes and run our program. And there we go. Okay. Very easy. Play around with some different values and get the ha get a hang of uh, it, but it's it's really simple. You'll get it within a couple of seconds. 
The next one is our exponents or the powers. So in some other languages that you might have been using before, you'll have something like like this to declare an exponent. So this would be 6 to the power of 2, which would be 6 times 6. In auto hotkey, it's a little different. And what it looks like is, we'll, once again, we'll use our colon equals operator. And if we want to do that exact same one that we had there, so we'll have 6, and then we put two asterisks side by side with the number 2. So we have 6 raised to the power of 2, and what that's going to give us is 36. Okay, we'll do a couple of quick examples. We'll do b equals um, 3 to the power of 3. And then our last one that we'll do, we'll have a to the power of b. And then we'll print it out. When we'll do this time, we'll do our two message box types. So we got msgbox, comma, and then a equals. We'll drop down a line, put in our b. Drop down another line, and then our c. All right, we'll save our changes and have a look at what we have. And there we go. Now, because the number for C is so high, it's actually gone past its limits. So we've gotten some weird garbage value. So you have to be aware that there's only, I don't remember the exact number, but it's, uh, let's say, 20 some odd spaces. It's some something like quintillion, up to 10 quintillion. So what we need to do here is we'll change the value of this, and that hopefully puts us down into our range that we want. Okay, so that's within our range, but it's still we got a huge number there. So let's change this to something we can... Uh, let's do 2. Now we should get something that's a little bit more manageable. Okay. So... 4 to the power of 9 is 262,144. Incredibly high. Okay, so, so that's our exponents. Oh yes, I wanted to do one example with the, the, in the other message box method just to get more practice with it. So MSG, BOX, we'll put a comma, and then we do a percent sign, a space, and then we'll have a to the power of b. And if we want, what we can do before that is we can say uh, we need quotes. So we'll say a, and we'll put it in a way that we can actually normally read it. And then we need a space there. Let's put, it, let's put two spaces there. And then we'll save it and have a look. So a to the power of b is that. And we can also, you know, we can change it. Okay. Really easy. All right. One more, and then i got to cut this video short. Um, I hate uploading, although I don't want to make too many videos on a subject, I also don't want to spend 10 hours uploading a video. As it is, to upload a 10 minute video, it takes about 2 hours. So, yeah. Okay, negative numbers, really, really simple. It's exactly as you would think it was, so we won't waste too much time on it. A equals negative 3. B equals negative 4 plus, in brackets, negative 3. 
And then let's do C is we'll do negative A. So now it's saying regardless of what A is, it's going to do that as another negative. So in our case, we have negative 3, and it's going to actually change th that into a positive because we're saying negative again. I think that's right. <laughs> Don't quote me on that yet. And then we'll have uh, minus negative b. All right. Good enough. You can play around with these values if you have any questions about it. Play around with them. Change them to different things. That's the best way to learn this stuff is just manipulate it. Message box. And we want a equals... And we're just going to do the one, the one kind of a message box this time. We're not going to force an expression. If you want to do that, you're welcome to. Okay, we'll save our changes and run it. And there we go. Okay, that's it for this one. When we got one more video to do, and we'll cover these things in that one. I'll see you there.